Yo, what is going on Guardians and welcome back to another Destiny 2 gameplay video. Hey, in this video I'm going to be continuing the themed loadout series that I'm doing. And in this video we're focusing on Curse of Osiris Forge weapons. So, the idea here is you know, the Disciple of Osiris, right? So we're just using Osiris themed guns, specifically the ones that came from those forges, uh, from that forge that you can make there in the lighthouse, uh, these various weapons. So, if featured in this video you're going to see a lot of different guns. Um, you're going to see the Infinite Paths Energy Pulse Rifle, which I actually was kind of surprised by. It was not a bad pulse rifle at all. It has the uh, same sort of uh, look. The visual inspiration behind the pulse rifle was the Praetis timepiece from the Vault of Glass in Destiny 1. So you're going to see some of that. I think there might be like one or two Null Calamity Energy AR uh, clips in there as well. You're going to see the West of Sunfall 7. Uh, which is a 180 hand cannon. You're going to see the Machina Day, which is a kinetic pulse rifle, which is inspired visually from the uh, Stranger's Rifle in Destiny 1. You're going to see the Conqueror SMG. Uh, you are also going to see the Traveler's... Um, is it Traveler's Judgment? Traveler's Chosen. Traveler's Judgment? Traveler's... Ju uh, Traveler's Sidearm. <laughs> You're going to see that too. I was actually uh, surprised... By that sidearm, to be honest, it's a three-round burst, bra, 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 right? This thing was, it was not bad. I um, I expected it to be, it's Traveler's Judgment, that's what it is, Traveler's Judgment. Um, I expected it to be kind of bad, and it really wasn't, seriously, it wasn't. I ended up using it a lot, and um, the, only, <laughs> the only heavy weapon that I could choose to use was the Forge Sword, the Future Safe 10, right? So uh, you're going to see a couple of clips with that as well. I really enjoyed using this, and um, I kind of focused on doing... Uh, I figured, well, you got to be Dawnblade of some kind if you're doing an Osiris-themed loadout. You know, Osiris himself is a Dawnblade. So um, initially I went with the Attunement of Grace, and you'll see me kind of doing these rapid healing uh, grenades. And I thought, you know, I really want to leverage the healing grenades. But, um, you know, I've got a lot of grenade mods on. How can I get them faster? So I figured, you know what? Let's just use Starfire Protocol. So for a, most of this gameplay in this video, I'm using the Starfire Protocol chest piece, which gives you two fusion grenade charges. So that way I'm able to consume my grenades more regularly. But at the same time, if I want to use a grenade, I can feel free to, to use my grenades liberally just like I normally would without feeling like I'm losing my grenade charge because I have two. So I found that to be actually kind of useful. Um, you know, I will admit that, you know, I had a couple of lobbies that were really, really uh, sweaty lobbies, and uh, it was pretty difficult to use these weapons. They're not top-tier weapons, at, at, you know, at all. But they are definitely fun to use in quick play. I'm all about fun in quick play. I just want to have a good time. So um, I rarely use, very rarely will I use, quote-unquote, sweaty top-tier stuff in, in uh, quick play. Every now and then I'll use... Uh, I have been known to use a blast furnace from time to time. I have been known to use an air until from time to time. Uh, so I will admit to that. I use some of those weapons, but usually I'm not, I'm not using that stuff. So I have a lot of fun with these themed loadouts. I'm looking forward to continuing the series and doing some more, uh, down the road. Hopefully enjoy this. Some, uh, we ran out of metals in here and just some really nice kill streaks and jukes. And I did a little bit of top tree as well. So you'll see some Icarus dashing from time to time. So uh, let me know what you think uh, of these loadouts, and feel free, as always, to make suggestions for loadouts you think I should do down the road. Thanks for watching the video, guys. Uh, I know it's a little bit of a longer one, but I will not, I promise not to break up your viewing pleasure with any additional advertisements in the middle of the video. So just sit back and enjoy it. Uh, hope to catch you in the Crucible. Thirty seconds. Ten seconds. I cook. Double down. down. What can stop you if you fight together? Nothing. Oh. 
You've got 30 seconds. This is amazing! Double down, and that's why we have fire teams. You're getting stronger as you fight. I love it. Until there's nothing left! Together. Nothing. You made that. Enemy claims zone C. them to line up faster. Two for one. You captured zone C. Zone advantage is yours. Zone B lost. Shut them down. Your moments of clarity are weapons, Warlock. Yes. Now show them the true meaning of war. By a team that fights together, stay together. Down. With ten warlocks like you, I can turn ideas into weapons. Capture, you're in the lead. Two for one. down. You're pulling ahead. Keep it that way. Triple down. minutes left. Your 
moments of clarity, a weapon, Warlock. That's why we have fire teams. Comeback when I see one. Fight on! Fight until there's nothing left! Double down! Double down! Front, the Twilight Gap where Lord Shax earned his name. None fell more guardians than you. Gains the lead. 